And boom! We are back, people. Welcome back to the trucking journey. It is Monday morning. I'm getting kind of a late start, but that was planned. Because I got kind of a, a late ending as well last week. It's November! Or as some of us bearded fellows like to say, Grovember. So, uh, beard's coming back. Having a beard just seems more appropriate as a man who's out on the road versus, you know, clean shaven every single day. But I am using a new camera today. I can't show it to you because I'm, I'm talking to it, but it's that pocket camera that I had mentioned in the previous video. Even though I did not drop 500 big ones on this little guy, I wanted to. That was the creator kit. Comes with a few extra accessories. That's unavailable. Sold out on the day it was released. I'm not sure of that. I, the guy at Best Buy says they're stuck on a cargo ship somewhere and they'll come in later. So maybe, you know, Best Buy has a 14-day return policy. So if I see that they come in within the next 14 days, maybe I'll return this and get a creator kit and it'll just be $150 more. But in the meantime, I get to play with this little guy and check it out. It's probably not very bumpy, even though I'm driving. I hope the audio's good. It's supposed to be good. That was one of the selling points versus the previous model. But I bought this little guy for the new trucking journey that is coming. It's really already started. I just know a lot more about it than you guys do at this point. But using the big DLSL camera, especially in the truck and out on location, sometimes it's a little much. Now, when I'm doing interviews and more professional gigs, it's ideal. But when it's just personal stuff, sometimes it's a little too much because it's big and there's a tripod and it's awkward and doesn't do great in low light and have to adjust the manual settings and everything. This little guy, I just hit a button a, a second later, I can be recording. And it's in my hand and I have my phone free to do, well, other iPhone kind of thing. Yeah, you can get a little smooth driving footage. We'll have to try this out when we're in the big truck and see how it works. But I'm getting the hang of it. It has several different modes. I can do time lapse, slow motion, film 4K, 2.7, 1080. Uh, there's a couple of different gimbal mood modes, follow me modes. Should be a nice little addition. And the drone is sent off to the doctor. I am waiting for the diagnosis and the repair bill. And then um, once that's complete, the repairs will be completed. And then they will ship it back to me. And then we'll start using it out on our little Texas run. Anything you guys want to see between South Carolina and Texas, let me know. What's up, you two? Welcome back to the trucking journey. And welcome to the new truck that's going to be taking us there. This is a 2016 KW T680. I just put a, a flat screen TV in this mug. I like how that turns on. But my favorite thing on here is a $46 cable I got that Apple makes that's lightning to HMI. So what that means is I can plug my iPad or my iPhone into this TV and, well, Netflix, Hulu, YouTube, you know, whatever I can watch on my phone, well, I can watch it on the TV instead. Pretty cool. And up top is our old trusty Frigidaire refrigerator. It's somewhat stocked, not fully stocked. And then there's stuff I should probably secure a little better, like that suitcase. I don't want it hitting me in the back of the head. And then my, my cabinets. This is still a work in progress too, but this is week two back out on the road. But this week ain't gonna be this new trip there and back. I'm gonna stay out a little while. 
least two weeks, maybe even three. But this morning, eh, it took a little longer to get going than I intended to. After I got to the terminal, I discovered I had been selected for a random drug screening. So I had to go to the doctors to do that and wait and wait and wait in the waiting room. But they, to everybody else that came in there besides me was there for a COVID-19 test. And they sent them out in the parking lot and said they would text them <laughs> what it was time. But I sat in there with my mask on the whole time. But I've got a load I just hooked up to right here off the yard. Old trailer is 6681. It's going over to ZF to get unloaded. And then after that, we're, uh, we're going to head to Texas. But I hope my audio and this looks good. I'm using my new little pocket camera. It's much easier to use than the big ones, cause it's itty bitty. It's got a built-in gimbal. So even though if I shake it like this, that probably was not steady. Or if I shake it to the side, not sure how that looks. But let's get on the road. If it stays smooth in this bumpy yard, it is a pretty good gimbal. We got the San Andreas fault line, or the, what's that big hole, deep spot in the ocean. All right, we're gonna leave this yard, head on over to Zia. I am finally backed up to the dock, but I've got something I gotta do. My door came undone. These type aren't supposed to come undone. You know, those with a little hook and chain wheel. This camera is pretty awesome. Backing up to these docks always isn't, but at least you got plenty of room, so if you can't get straight, it's your own fault. But this thing is very discreet. Me walking around, talking to it. I hope my audio's good. Sun's starting to go down. It's after five o'clock, guys. I'm still in Greenville. I'm in Great Court anyway. This is a load off the yard, but I was getting a late start anyway, and then I had to go get a drug test and waited for more than an hour there, and it was a little bit of a drive to get there. And then I've been sitting here for the last few hours. This is Z. Well, I'm not going to so much talk about customer names. I'm not even going to so much talk about company names. As far as like the company or companies. I guess it's company now. That I drive for. Because I don't think that's what you guys come here for, is it? You guys come here for truck and stuff. And like living a pretty cool existence in a truck. Like I've been watching this show on Amazon Prime. Excuse me. And with my little cable, I can watch it on the um, the flat screen. But this is called the Man in the High Castle. I was saying the Man in the White Castle before. White Castle. That's another movie. But this is a pretty cool show. The like original premise of it is anyway. This is a world where America lost World War II. And Japan won. And Germany won. And Germany. But I hadn't really got the truck fully set up. I hadn't cooked any meals. I've heated up some food in here with my microwave. Which instead of this strap being a part of my pre-trip every, <laughs> every time I roll. This just keeps it in place. If I need to get in there, I just take it off. Otherwise, this is there, and the microwave is fine. I thought we were going to Texas in this video, but it looks like we're just chilling in the upstate, doing our thing. But they're unloading me now, and then I'm going to get something going to Texas. And I guess I'll be on the night shift. The night shift. Which I like the night shift when I've slept during the day. But I've been up all day. I got up early. So we'll see how it goes. You know, I do have some high test bulletproof coffee I can make right here in the, the truck. So we are good in that department. 
Well, all right, we're finally unloaded, guys. And we got a load going to Texas. So we're going to head up to Spartanburg. And we're Houston bound. Not Laredo. We'll end up in Laredo. But we're going to be taking us a load to Houston. Can you guys see me okay? It's dark. But I do have a light shining on my head. It's kind of, let's turn that off. You can't see me at all now, can you? So I think we've got enough, so we can go ahead and uh, wrap up this episode. Appreciate all of you guys watching it, making it to the end. <laughs> but it's been a pretty long day. The 14 hour clock is what got me. Uh, not a big mileage day, like 435 miles. I had about a half hour left on my clock when I got shut down. Making delivery in tomorrow's shift will be kind of tight. I'm 614 miles from there. I'm not going to say it's not doable. I'm not going to say I'm not doing it. But it'd probably be better just to drive to like Baytown, shut down, and then deliver early in the shift. Make it to Liberato, deliver that, and grab another one and start working my way back the following day. I don't know. You'll have to tune in to see how it goes. This video was filmed entirely on the new Pocket 2 made by DJI. They did not sponsor this video, so uh, I'm not going to show you their camera in this one. But in upcoming videos, we'll be using this one, the big camera, the iPhone, the drone, hell, maybe even a GoPro, people. So if you're not subscribed already, go ahead and do it. Because, uh, you know, I'm just out here doing my thing out on the road, so... I might as well document the journey and uh, have some fun. But thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. But until then, be safe out there and keep on trucking. Put your